and welcome back to the Reapers. So you join us in uh, Toil and Strife. Well, we're always kind of in Toil and Strife, but more so than usual. Why? Because uh, Israel, that country in the Middle East, um, has got a new weapon. It's just been supplied by the United States of America. It's a new secret, all-destructive weapon. We don't know what it is. We don't really care what it is. We're just doing our job. Uh, before anyone shouts at us, we are not political. We are apolitical. We just do whatever work we can get and our work is to destroy this weapon um, uh, we are being hired by hired by a mixture of mr. Assad and mr. Putin um, if you really must know so here's what's going on a United States is in the process of delivering the super weapon to Israel on the Western uh, yeah, Western Coast port uh, that we don't have a name for but we can show it down here and this is where we've chosen the weak spot is the most weak spot in their defenses and it's not really very weak it's actually very well defended probably the highest defended mission we've ever had hence we're probably going to fail it miserably but we're going to go out swinging um, so uh, basically it's coming in 200 containers metal shipping containers and it's currently stored at the um, at the port in question or about 95 percent of it is these shipping containers are about to be shipped into different places in uh, Israel to be set up as the new weapon network so now's a great time to strike and get it all in one place I, what I'm going to do I'm going to describe basically um, what the rough plan is and give you a framework of the plan and then I'm going to hand it over to the boys the boys are going to flesh that plan out do the maths and make it actually work so this is what we've got we're starting at an IP base here in Syria crossing over the border into um, into Israel we have just on the edge of Syria um, a blue EW, EWR so we can have GCI seeing what's in the sky this will be critical that we have a GCI to organize things properly without it there's no way we can do this we're gonna head along the waypoint so why have I made the waypoint so weird well it's because um, to avoid hostile radar and we do have to follow this um, so we're gonna follow the waypoints which will lead us through canyons we'll be on the deck all the way it's the only way we're gonna survive and get to the port and bomb the port simple as that you say well no the problem is Israel Israel have got two squadrons of um, of Israeli fighters above the target orbiting they've got four times f-15c's fully armed at angels 20 they've got four times Israeli f-16c's um, of doing the same thing at Angels 10. That is the main Israeli defense. As well as that, if we look at the port close up on the top right hand side, we can see there are 10 number um, Zeus 23 anti aircraft guns. And I go over this every time I say how dangerous they are. People ignore me always to their detriment. The only way to get past the Zeus 23 is a 450 knot pass low, otherwise, you'll be taken out by them. Um, so that's that. Um, so that's uh, a problem because they've got fourth gen fighters we haven't we've only got third gen fighters or planes we've got f5 tigers we've got mig 21s we've got vigans we've got harriers um and now that's a problem because none of these things so if we just went through the follow the waypoints and went straight to the base we would be immediately wiped out by um by the f 15 c's and the f 16s there's nothing we can do to touch them they'll have us completely destroyed immediately uh, if we went with the, uh, if we went and we had an escort force of third gen fighters we would still be completely wiped out um, there's nothing that can take on those fighters before I go to our tactic I just need to say one more thing to make things slightly more difficult a US Nimitz class carrier which is overseeing the transition of the weapon is currently stationed 10 miles off the coast it has SAM launchers they uh, they're the equivalent of aim earth seven sparrows with about 10 miles range and they do cover the port as you can see they just cover the port so anything south and west of the port is in sam range you will be shot down immediately as well as that because things are obviously too easy at the moment the nimitz class carrier has four f-18c hornets um, on QRA scramble um, we've timed it and it's a three minute scramble time from uh, basically from you know once they've picked up a warning that something's wrong it takes three minutes to scramble all those hornets that'll be important so don't ignore it so finally onto our tactic or at least the framework of how i've decided we should do this i think we should basically uh, send a distraction force out to the west and um, they will position themselves around echo point echo kilo you can see i haven't got an actual point um, uh, marked by Echo Kido, you will then wait until the strike force, which is going along the waypoint, has got far enough. The distraction force will then charge at the hostile F 15s and F 16s in an attempt to uh, get them to engage. It's very important that the distraction force gets them to engage. Obviously, your task is not to fight them and not to get shot down. In fact, I would suggest not even really having weapons. Um, once the GCR has confirmed that they have taken the bait, 
you will then turn around and basically lead them away uh, to the northwest. That's the only thing we can do to get rid of these fourth gen fighters. Lead them away. And that has to be timed perfectly with strike, which is basically all of the other groups going along the waypoints and then popping out. So as soon as the fighters are moved off station, the rest of us can pop out of the mountains and uh, do the bombing. Um, and now the bombing has to be done in under three minutes of when the main fighters are alerted because then the hornets will be scrambled and then they will come and kill us so it has to be timed perfectly so i would suggest 30 seconds after the engagement is when the first bombs should be being dropped on the port at which point that leaves us 2.5 minutes to get the rest of the bombs dropped because we're going to have about 20 strike aircraft if this is going to be set up right to bombs on that port and then so they're turned around and then back into the mountains before um, the Hornets have uh, taken off. So, one more thing. Uh, we're going to take a Suicide Squad with us as well. Uh, the Suicide Squad is coming with us on the deck around the waypoints. Their job is to basically stay out of combat. Again, they don't even really need weapons if, if you don't want. And your job is, if something goes wrong, and it always does, like if some of the F-16s don't take the bait, or if the F-18s launch early, their mission is to basically sacrifice themselves in a blaze of glory to buy the strike bombers some extra few seconds. So that's what all the different groups are. So now with that framework and telling you roughly how the timings work, you guys have got to go and flesh this out now. Uh, put groups, put timings in, get everything set up. So I will leave it with you gentlemen. I have a subtle variation on that. You plan. mother. I know exactly what you can say because I know how your brain works, but go ahead. All right, we have a Vigan flight as the distraction force, but we arm them up with anti-ship missiles. I knew you were going to say that. This is a new, a new. I was saying, yeah. oh, we're going to shoot the ship down. I mean, you can. You're welcome to shoot that ship, <laughs> but you've to shoot that ship. If this is what you're talking about, you've got to get 12 missiles, 12 hits, or 13, 12 or 13 hits on that. Really? Can you oh, do that? Oh, yeah. Yes, because I've, I've tried it out before with that we in little intro I made. Um, we yeah. Do have six Vigans. If you want to, and that, but six vegans is can destroy that base. Six vegans can do a lot of damage on that base. Mm. And I'm thinking, here's my problem: why take out the carrier when we don't need to? If we do our timings right, we can have that thing bombed in two minutes and everyone back in the mountains. Why are we wasting metal? Why are we sending basically hardware on trying to get that ship down that we probably mm -hmm. won't get down? Well, it's a question of. Will can we escape in time? Well, yes, it's a question of can we escape. If we're turned around and going back inland, before those uh, hornets launch, we can survive this. Once we're in the canyons, they won't find us. If they catch us with our pants down on the green area, we won't survive it. So it's, it's timing and it's organisation and it's speed, hence why I've put eight vegans in there. Um, and we can do this. Three minutes is enough time as long as mm. the GCI organises the time which is why i thought about this carefully it's the only real way right. i can think of doing this strike it's got to be very tight together but yeah yeah it does yeah. you can't have um you can't have harriers two minutes down the way we've got to be not nose to tail but we've got to be one big trail group that's the only way this will work so once once um, the first guy starts plowing in 30 seconds later we've all plowed in and we're all turning the, around the distraction and possibly grabs people from the suicide squad could it be that the distraction squad drags them over some hills with the suicide or the other squad down low and then they just fly up behind them and shoot them? You're not going to shoot them down below. Nothing you can do is going to shoot fourth gen fighter set to maximum skill. They, they've got eyes in the back of their heads. Mm. It's a complete waste. So we could barely shoot down a few MiG-23s yesterday, let alone... Israeli fighters. I think the, I think the suicide squads a good backup because something always goes wrong whenever we do these things, and that's just a really good idea to buy us an extra thirty seconds. That they just go up and tangle with the F-16s. They won't win. Probably won't shoot any fighters down today, but they could buy the Vingers enough time to get their bombs away. The Harriers need to go in first. Yeah, Harriers. The Harriers are yeah. the slowest, so they need the, uh, the most yeah, time to get exactly out. Exactly right. The Vigans, even if they are two minutes behind, should be able to escape. Roger. I mean, but there's no excuse to be two minutes behind. Um, um, yeah, we don't. It's the better way to do it. Um, now there is something else that I've forgotten about. We're not used to fighting this fight. These are fourth gen fighters, so they've got two ways of finding us. A, they can turn their radars on, which they will. Their radars will be scanning, and they can see us within eight, about seventy about 70 miles okay so hence why we've had to do that huge detour to get away from their radar once we're in the mountains we're fine um so um, we've got to be spotters though when we come over the top no, they'll see us at waypoint two yeah i know um i'm planning to that's why i'm planning to have 
the um well here, there's two things it, yes they will see us there and it will engage us my hope is as soon as we're back in the mountain they will disengage if that doesn't happen then what maybe we'll decide to do is have the intercept uh, the uh, what they fucking called the distractor force do their job once we're at waypoint getting to waypoint two so we never have that danger because they've already distracted by that point that's another possibility. Hang on, let me finish all my thing. All the ifs in this plan. Yes, so let me have a uh, finish my thing. So these will be scanning 360 all the time without any more. So you can't just, f hence why we can't just fly towards this thing. We have to go out and around it and into the canyons. Same with the distraction force. You've got to be mu stationed 80 miles away and waiting. And then when you're called in, then you can go. Secondly, they also will be using their RWR to intercept us. They don't need to see us on radar. If any of us, including the distraction force, turns our radar on, Someone's bound to fuck up. They will see that, and they will immediately point their radar at it and go charging at it. So it's absolutely That's critical. Not necessarily a bad thing. All right. Well, leave it with me. The, the strike force going along those waypoints. If someone turns their radar on by accident, an F5, a MiG-21, a Vigan turns their radar on by accident, they will see that and they will charge immediately at that force because I've seen it before. So that's what I mean. Is that's a, that's a good thing. Well, why would you want? That. Why would you want us to be charged at? You because we use the distraction force, just wax their radar on, and they go boom. Yeah, but only when only when they're on there. Obviously, but only when they're on there. You know. I mean, how far time. out do they? Will they actually go? Well, how well, far will they chase some well, units? I don't know. What I'm saying is that Sherman can't take off and get return his radar on straight away because the first thing that will happen is they'll see that and just charge at them straight away. They've got to wait until the plan is ready, hmm. then turn the radar on and fly at them. Uh, now, this is very important. I know I keep stressing this. And it's on video in front of the internet because I know someone's going to ignore me. Some vegan or someone's going to turn their radar on on those waypoints and they will be seen and the mission will be over. Do not turn your radar on or I'll find out who you are and stomp your guts out. Very important. Shall we have a look at the groups now? Now we know what's going on. So the A-10s obviously are completely worthlessness, but I, you know, I want people to be able to fly, so I've let them come along. Uh, but strike groups one, two, three, and four are the strike groups. Why is Tender on his own? What are the A-10Cs doing? You've put this rookie flight in. They're they're basically following us, but they haven't got a radar, so they can't cock it up. Um, and they're um, they're not doing anything because they can't have any effect in this, obviously. But I'm letting I'd them fly with us. I'd love to join Tender, but it's Harriers and I don't have a Harrier. Roger, Tender, are you here or are you... I am. Could you <laughs> skip it yourself and Sabre? You cannot have a group to yourself. Yeah. You're being greedy. Otherwise, that's good. We've got three solid strike groups there. That's, uh, um, they're all trash. good players. As much as I do want you in my group, uh, can you lead Buick? Why not? So that's the strike. We've talked about the strikes. The Harriers will be leading. So, Tomic, you've got to be absolutely on board. Tomic, can you read waypoints in the Harrier? I can. Okay, and you've got to be low, 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 and I don't mean half ass low, 500 feet. It's literally life and death today, so it's got to be stupid low. Um, oh, sure sure. And your job is to stomp the guts out of any of your team guys that don't go low, and the same with blood and trash. And then the vegan flights, who are both experienced flights, trash and blood will be following behind you in a kind of in a trail. Um, uh, Cutlass, so that's Distraction Squad, Sherman, so I've told you your job. Your job is to take off, and you guys are t probably taking off early, with radars off. Loitering at Echo Kilo, so uh, just go to the west, and maybe even a bit north slightly for safety. Loiter until we're ready to send you on the attack. And your job is to obviously engage, and when they start firing missiles, or when they're near to start firing missiles, turn around and just run away and lead them away. And if they lose Oops, interest, me. if they lose interest, you've absolutely got to go back and get them again. You can't let them come and kill us. So that's that. But don't be stupid. Don't die. Being dying, dying is the worst thing you can do. That's not helped us at all. We've got to lead them away. So that's you guys. Not uh, not dying. I can work on being stupid. Um, yeah, not yeah, sure about that one. Suicide squad led by Cadron. So you've just got to tuck yourself in with the Harriers, slightly behind the Harriers. Again, your radar's off at all times. Not standby, but off. You're flying just behind the Harriers, and your job is to keep out of trouble and as low as the Harriers until something inevitably goes wrong, and then your job is to just make yourself as visible as possible and charge at the hostile in question and um, just buy us a few seconds. Is that clear? For the viewers at home, uh, Elo did three team kills yesterday, uh, last month, and that means his punishment is he has to fly with no weapons today and his canopy open to make it nice and uncomfortable for him so that he learns not to team kill. Uh, so that's fine. Um, Hogs, just take it. If you, if you get there alive, take any target of opportunity um, it wants to be. Obviously, the crates there carrying the secret weapon, so try and kill the crates if possible. Ships are a good target. 
if there's no obvious crates or that main kind of building in the middle there. The only question remaining now is at what point along the waypoints do we call Sherman's distraction force in from, e from Echo Kilo? Probably, I reckon, roughly when we're at Foxtrot Juliet, I reckon we call them in. Who's got a comment it, on that? It needs to be before we hit waypoint two. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying, Foxtrot Juliet. Yeah. That's 20 miles north yeah. of waypoint two. Who's going to be doing that? Which human? Is going to be doing is going to. It's got to be the Harrier leader, Harrier. Uh, Harrier. Uh, me then. Your job is to work out when we get to Foxtrot Juliet. You may not have a Foxtrot Juliet sign on your actual F10 map, so memorise it's you know those mountain peaks. When we get roughly there, you've got to call Sherman in. Sherman will then come down from Echo Kilo, full black Mac 2 into those fighters and do his job. Is anyone unclear of what would what their job is? Beautiful, then there won't be any mistakes. This is going to be an excellent mission. I can just tell. Okay, Sherman Cutlass, you know how permission to take off. Head north and get to your hold point until further notice. That time he's filming this again. Spear and the Harriers of Sabre, you have permission to take off and get on the Vector, keep nice and low and good luck. There's one, there's one, there's one! <laughs> He's kept it, he kept it! Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, I love that. And, uh, that's what you call pilot into your operation. Hammer, let's uh, line up away, I'm wrong. Okay, brake set, throttle up. Ready, go! late because I burst the tyre. No, I rotated that 280 there. Well, alongside my, one of my tyres burst. Least of our problems, yeah. boys. Just a little late. There. Look at the desert. Right, and so we've got a cat to eight back to nine zero percent. I guess you're gonna be in charge of making sure we catch up the Harriers. Yeah, don't worry, I got I've got people on getting uh the trip sector in and we'll turn on. And right, roll. Oh. Bear in mind that if you are on the, the inside wing, you can be quite close to the ground. You are quiet today, Blood. Am I? Yeah, I mean, not like stupid quiet, but... And wings, level. Cutlass is ordering at, um, waypoint. 
Copy, Shaman. Just move a little bit to your left. You're too, too, too close behind the map. There's a lot position on the map to call you in. Yeah, for the time being, Cutlass, just uh, save fuel. Blood confirmed that we're not getting any friendly nails. Uh, name paper, no friendly nails, he's just those giving. Roger, I guess just leave them to it, I guess they know what they're doing. Mama's back, you got me Of course. Oh, you look lovely against the sun there, three. Tax break, you check. Yeah, tax. Uh, have a Sabre 414 knots. 414 knots, Roger. Uh, 414, that is. Bounce. Uh, we're doing 700 kilometers an hour. It's 1.6, is it? Yeah, yeah, we, we just catch them up. All well, units, Cap, just a general reminder to make sure you keep your radar off. Uh, this is Cutlass. We haven't had any nails from the F 15 flight for a while. Uh, should we be concerned? It's just popped up on my RWR. Have we got anyone? Cut this, it's popped up. F-15 nails of my right o'clock. Right o'clock, three o'clock. You're just out of the range of nails, Sherman, that's all it is. Roger, just remember, if we're not getting nails, it means they're not um, hunting us. Save a flight six miles out from turn point. Waypoints are fairly sparse, so we have Great to use our level. own. We have to use our own initiative about getting in the canyon. Obviously, the waypoint won't put us in the canyon. Yeah, I'm putting ourselves like to the left of the waypoint, so we can intersect that line. Same as like taking valley on my left of my nose. Uh, three, drop tank to right. Eight. FM uh, one's tank is dry as well. All, all Two tanks off. Gone. I'm considering um, slowing Sabre down a bit, what do you think? Roger, yeah, slow down a bit, uh, get you to speed up. Roger. Um, Sabre, can you knock 30 knots off your speed please? We can't catch you up. Sabre copies, drop falling. Right, I'm going to make the assumption that it's that wacky great valley to the right. Uh, Spear, make sure you're in a bloody valley. I see you over the top of a mountain at the moment. Buick are about 20 miles behind. Uh, Buick, what's your uh, current speed? Buick, please say again. Buick, what's your speed? Mach 0.75, 800 Ks. Roger. Buick, camera speed is currently uh, 850 kilometers an hour. I recommend you swap to stage one after then as so you close the gap. Buick. Okay, Sherman, you're off the leash. Go and attack those F-15s. Do your job. Roger. Will do. Good speed.
and this is what this is what we were looking for in 2.5. Very nice. Beautiful run down a valley with actual trees in it. And without pyramids for hills. Like who the fuck what, who's that up high? Fine, tell me who that is. No idea, I'm not looking at F10. Someone ahead of uh, the Viggins is up too high, who's burning. Get down, 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 you're gonna get a shot. We've almost caught up with you, Sabre, carry on for now. Copy. Three miles out, waypoint three. Watch those trees, one. I'm always watching those trees. Basically, your job as a vegan driver is tree watching. I use the word driver in the pilot because you basically drive this. Uh, yeah, Harrier, speed up again and uh, Godspeed. Harrier's punching it. Bearing two steps forward. Make sure you go the same okay, way as the pilot. We're going to be going uh, to the second. Stage one after that. Two stage one. Cool. Three. Just to get over these peaks. And one diving now. Two of slip behind. Uh, two slip behind three, but I'll get back. D switching back to nine five percent. Oh yeah. Correction nine two. Roger, three will stay on the right hand side of the valley. They believe multiple F-15 nails are bearing 260. Cutlets, multiple uh, horned nails on our south bearing. Figures are really camouflaged down here. Oh, that matches to F15s. I think we might be on the wrong side of that peak. For our escape vector, I guess we just say, uh, do you know? Cutlass uh, engaging the enemy with trolling tactics. Troll away. Nails. And we have a nails bearing 300. Zero zero. Here we go. F15. Four miles from waypoint. Four. Sabre lead just took a hit. Oh fuck you know. I don't know what it was. Straight up. Roger, get a suicide squad in there. Copy, spear coming in. 
Uh, radar coming on for Spear. Spear F-15 Minos. For bearing. Cap spike and missiles. Save the two Italian players ahead. I don't know if they're playing the missiles, but they came from bearing. Oh, that's a 15 just flew past me. Oh, fuck. Okay, people, let's, uh, let's decide, let's just spread out a bit. Get nice and low in those valleys. I want everybody on burners, please. Two saves, three. Low, boys, low, low, low. Yeah, keep dodging in and out of the valleys. I think I lost all my savers apart from me. Three lost lead and two. Uh, yeah, everybody, you've got to use your own nav points this. Okay. Yeah, which which waypoint, blood? Which waypoint? Uh, get away from four. Okay. And 16 nails on my right wing. Roger, the biggest are okay so far, we're in. F-15 now. Young is engaged, Young is engaged. Cutlass merged is engaged. Okay, now go away point five. Roger, away point five. Okay, I'm in the valley, I'm in the valley. I'm, I'm, I'm through, I'm through on target. Two. Trash down. Good luck, Cap. Uh, remember, you're going for the far. Far target. Cap is going right hand side. Far right hand side. Roger. Target way left. Uh, six. Recommend, though, that you head down to the coast and then attack because it'll give you a better uh, response to target. Roger. Cap hanging left coast. Shit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Get your video permission to take GCI Roger, get it done. Sherman, come left, 270. I can't see it, Shifty, I can't see the fucking four. Are you vectoring me into a fight, or...? I'm not here, I'm just 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 here, Two tally tally tally. I've got multiple nails uh, still tracking me. Roger. Uh, Sherman, continue north. Okay, multiple three feet south. wet, turning north. Two, bombs away. Two, you up? Two hits. I got hits. Lots and lots of hits. I'm out of here. Bombs down on target. Confirm the strike package is off station in RTV. Uh, strike package is all dead except for that. Roger, compass is getting out.
Bowl over the and continue on your course, the bowl gets lost you. Most likely, you're the only one out there. The closest one, Bra 5 miles behind you. Bro and JSF, you've got to get faster, the F-15's catching you. My got traffic, 14 air on final, runway 04. Cutlass lead is turning into cover as flights. This might be suicidal. The hostile's only half a mile, a mile behind your boys, Sherman. But he is Winchester, Winchester. If he's Winchester, you guys need to outrun him. Sabre lead, we've got one final Harrier from Sabre flight making the canyon run toward the dock. Good job. Roger, I've got multiple nails all closing in on my position, 15s, 16s, and 18s. Uh, two groups from one behind you at the speed are approaching the second group at 16 in front of Bra 096 for 20. Sherman, one of them's coming head on to you, by the way, F16, Angel's t uh, 10. Tally on the radar in front of me. He's got two AMRAMs. Tally visual. Two AMRAMs. Final Harrier is making his attack run on the uh, docks now. Watch him. Cap confirmed that's him on my nose. Roger. Ether. Roger, I'm Joker. I'm going to see if I can get close enough for a fuck. Good bombs, Harrier. Get out. Got him on the run, Sherman. Roger, I've forced him to turn. Merge, Viper. He's down, he's down, he's down. Flash. Sherman is Joker and needs to get down ASAP. Sherman and your group, north ASAP, two AMRAMs coming from the south. Gumball hunger deck. Sherman's group are all safe, safe, safe. Roger. He's now going for JSF pilot. Cap, we're Joker, we need the man. Roger, just do it. I'm being foxed repeatedly. Negative, you're safe, you are safe, they're dead foxes. I am Joker and about to run out of fuel, declaring an emergency. Put those birds down quick, guys, you've got hostiles coming in. Fox light is coming in on an emergency vector. Fortinero ready for scramble. Sherman doing one last hurrah, Fox 2. Fox missed, but it's sending defensive. Get down fast. I'm coming down one way or another because my fuel is just emptied. Please clear the runway. Scrambling. Scramble now, now, now. Coming in for an unpowered emergency landing on runway 04. Roger, watch out for Fort. It's about to lift off. Ford, move it. Rush or not? He's already out.
Overlord, 14 hour request, bogey up. Stand by, just seeing Sherman in. Nice dead stick, Sherman. Signal right, take next right and uh, line up with Sherman. 14 and a tuning for final. Hello, Sherman. You're late to the party, Signori. Yeah, fucking school. It's making me late. Oh, well, such is life. Yeah. I can still make it most days. Okay, so this is all that made it back. Uh, two MiG-21s and three F5s. Everyone else was slaughtered. The entire strike team was slaughtered. Which is a bit unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so we'll review that in the TAC view and uh, see what went wrong. Okay, do we have any idea what went wrong in the mission? We got yeah. killed. They were waiting for us when we got up with that. Well, it looked like the enemy had unlimited weapons to me. That's frustrating. Mm. I looked at them, they definitely didn't have unlimited weapons, they just had a lot of them. Yeah, alright. Try to stick to a gunfight. Absolutely so, slaughtered. We were definitely doing our job because we were getting launch warnings and basically just keeping them busy as best we could. So uh, clearly they had enough planes to yeah, go after you too. So they used proper tactics. They sent just one or two guys after you and the other like seven mm -hmm. or six or seven just stayed at home and waited for us and we slammed yeah, straight into it. Yeah, went up the valleys after the guys coming in as well. Wow. Fucking I had bad. at least three or four on me in there. Oh yeah, event. we were watching it. Well, they jumped us in the Harriers. Oh, gutted. I really wanted the Harriers to get through. I was gutted about that. One got through. Gumbo got through. Yeah. One's not enough. All right. Never mind. We'll do a debrief on it so I can try and work out where it went wrong. But it just sounds like we've just described it. <laughs>